if you go in you pop in your qualifications and the type of scholarship you're looking for you'll be able to see scholarship the government have a lot of fundings for them no jokes like they get lots of money you are already paying a bulk of your tuition a lot of opportunities and scholarship that you can apply for you don't even need to do much because you're already in the program right a designated portal you can sign up into and see scholarships there are actually scholarships here but if you don't look out for them if you don't reach for them they're not going to come to you hey my loves welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are returning you already know i love you so much thank you for coming back to watch yet another video and if this is your first time seeing me hey love welcome where have you been i am mara i'm an international student who is currently living and schooling in canada i love to make lifestyle content and immigration tips you know self-improvement and everything in between do well to go through my videos i'm very sure you're going to find a bunch of information that is going to be useful to you in today's video i decided to sit down and talk to you guys about scholarships okay i'm going to share everything i know about scholarships in canada you guys already know everything i share on my channel i'm not a professional in this okay whatever i share is something that is my experience i might have gone through that process and i have gone through this process because i had received a scholarship when it comes to scholarship in canada i like to be very honest with people and be very realistic with you guys so one thing you have to keep in mind is that the economy of canada thrive a lot from the revenue that they make from international students that should already let you know that scholarships are available but how accessible are they a lot of people ask me oh i want to come to canada and school but i don't have money can i get fully funded scholarships and stuff like that honestly it all depends on you don't limit yourself i always preach that in this channel because everybody's experience is going to be different but i'm going to share what i know based on my own experience as an international student i didn't get a scholarship till i had already completed three to four semesters so imagine i was banking on coming to canada to get scholarships i got the scholarship in my fourth semester i believe so you should always come prepared i believe that a scholarship is just going to be an extra motivation something that would just ease off the financial burden a bit and not like the whole thing and your question might be if i'm outside canada can i get a scholarship yes you can another person might ask i'm already in canada can i get a scholarship of course you can there are provincial scholarships there are federal scholarships there are departmental scholarships there are university scholarships what do i mean by federal scholarship if you go to canada.ca and you go through studies you're going to find a bunch of a lot of scholarships that are available to international students people that are not canadians that want to come to canada to school bear in mind that those scholarships are quite competitive because there are thousands of people that want to come to canada to school okay and there are a lot of people that might have better grades than you that might stand higher chances of getting those scholarships okay and there are also provincial scholarships they have their requirements i remember there was a time i was going to apply for one in saskatchewan but i didn't meet the requirements at that time because i hadn't completed a certain number of credit hours or credit load for my course so i couldn't apply so there are provincial government scholarships however the scholarship that i got is from my program so there are also scholarships from the university that you might be attending and there are scholarships also from your program another thing you have to bear in mind when you are considering scholarship is that bigger universities are going to be co more competitive to get scholarships if you're going to let's say university of toronto the chances of you getting scholarship in such university where you have a lot of people from different nationality is going to be rare it's going to be very slim compared to maybe when you're going to like university of regina for instance you might stand higher chances there because i mean it's a smaller university and a smaller province it also kind of goes both ways to the scholarship that you might have in bigger universities will definitely be more than the scholarships that you're going to have in smaller universities so that brings me to the point i'm trying to make if you are applying for scholarships guys don't just aim for big amounts like you know when they have scholarship opportunities they be like twenty thousand thirty thousand ten thousand you guys those scholarships are quite competitive chances might be slim for you to get those scholarships i always advise students aim for smaller scholarships within your department within your university and within your province 
because by the time you accumulate the amount, $500, $1,000, $2,000, $2,000, $5,000, $3,000, 4000 by the time you accumulate them here and there, you are already paying a bulk of your tuition. So for my scholarship, my scholarship is actually a scholarship from my department, okay? And when you're coming to Canada, you should be open to writing emails to your academic advisor and your department. Once you have gotten your admission, those emails that they had put in your admission letter saying contact this person for this or if you have questions they're not just for fancy so make use of those emails email and say oh are there scholarships available can i get scholarships can i are there scholarships that i can apply for the funny thing is that before you even land canada if you have the good if you have the right resources you can land scholarships before you land here if you're asking questions like my department have what they call entrance scholarship and as long as your grades are good and you meet the requirements you're getting that and that entrance scholarship is about three thousand canadian dollars you are getting that email your head of department, email your academic advisor, start, start asking them for scholarships that are available to you. Both undergraduate students can get these scholarships, both um, master students can get this scholarship. Uh, what's that now? PhD students can get these scholarships. But bear in mind that oftentimes in Canada, scholarships are more accessible and available to thesis based you know um students i see a lot of videos on youtube where people talk about scholarship by scholarship and all and then when you click on those videos you find out that they're actually talking about scholarships that are for thesis based students and people are watching those videos thinking that oh it's not it's not it's not like that let me just be honest with you guys it's not really like that some of those scholarships are available mostly to thesis based students or phd students which is obviously a thesis based and research based program most times canada fund them like they have government have a lot of fundings for them no jokes like they get lots of money so if that is your passion and you want to go into thesis based program just be rest assured that you're going to be getting a lot of fundings from your supervisor from your program from there are opportunities for you guys no doubt but if you're doing a course based program or you are undergraduate person that is where the perspective i'm bringing in now works write emails to your academic advisor to your department ask them oh are there scholarships that you can apply for if there are scholarships for you trust me they are going to let you know the scholarships you should apply for and the ways that you can qualify for them another aspect of this is that some schools have what they call like um a designated portal that you know you can sign up into and see scholarships and the reason why i'm saying this i don't want to personify it is because different schools with different rules okay this is peculiar to my school this is what my school does and i know that other schools also might have similar stuff so for you to be able to assess scholarship you have to be like have access to that portal all right so for my program i'm doing a graduate program a master's program for me to be able to assess scholarships that are available for master's students there is a portal in my school that i need to sign up for so if you go in you pop in your qualifications and the type of scholarship you're looking for you'll be able to see scholarships that are available okay even in your department when you go through your department make use of your department website or rather your school's website guys make use of it by the time you click on your department you should be able to see scholarships that are available in your program and in your school and you see the ones that you qualify for that you can apply for and if you qualified and you merit it they are going to award you these scholarships that is how scholarships work in Canada. So for my scholarship, I got a couple of scholarships, okay? That's why I said by the time you get one, two, three, okay, it just built up. By the time the money came together, it made up to like a certain amount to cover for my tuition. So you don't have to look at a scholarship and be like, ah, this is just 2,000, it won't do much. My dear, if you get 2,000 in two, three, you already know how much that is, okay? Just ask your faculty. Most times this, um, scholarships are based on faculty i'm in the faculty of graduate studies so in the faculty of graduate studies there are lots of um, opportunities and scholarships that you can apply for you don't even need to do much you don't because you're already in the program right if they ask you to write um letter of intent of course you can write that but most times they will not even require all those because you already meet the criteria for you to be 
to taking a program in the faculty of graduate studies right so they might just need other details and just know what you've already done and your grades don't take your grades for granted guys if you want to learn scholarship in canada because i know that some people might just be like oh you can get no once you're already into the program you have to take your pro your 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 grade serious because for me to have landed those scholarships my cumulative was above 80 percent if your cumulative is not above 80 percent for most programs you might not qualify for the scholarship however there are scholarships again that do not even put all those um they have to have a certain number of cumulative point average for you to apply no there are some scholarships that you can still apply without getting up to 80 percent but in all honesty you can't pay all that amount of money in canada and not you know put effort to have good grades so that you can even qualify for some of these benefits so if you don't take anything out of this video take out the fact that there are actually scholarships here but if you don't look out for them if you don't reach for them they're not going to come to you so i hope this video helps shed some light in scholarships in canada and how you can go about it 